Question number 12. Ron Mark. Thank you, Order. Mr. Speaker. I've called, Thank I've you, called Ron Speaker. Mark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Immigration and asks... Order. Order. Thank you. <laughs> Ron Mark, question number 12. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question to the Minister of Immigration and asks, does he have an ideal number of migrants coming to New Zealand, and if so, what is that number? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I do have an ideal situation for migrants coming to New Zealand, and it's quantifiable, but not in a single number. My ideal is as many international students as want uh, to come and study at our tertiary institutions, as many tourists who want to come and enjoy our beautiful country, and as many skilled migrants as is necessary to skill the, the skill demands uh, that we have. And because migration data also includes New Zealanders coming home, as many New Zealanders who want to come home and contribute to this country's social and economic development. Supplementary. Sup order. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. As the Minister has just admitted to the House that he has no clear idea of what an ideal level of immigration is, does he order. not realise... Order. I have a point of order and uh, no one should be surprised. Honourable Jerry Bradley. Mr Speaker, the uh, standing orders are very clear on what must be or should be in a question. Equally, they are clear on what it should not be. Uh, statements of supposition start at, starting at, or that were a statement effectively at the beginning of what we hoped would be a question are not inside standing orders and shouldn't be allowed in this parliament. I'll hear from the Right Honourable Winston. The problems uh, with uh, that uh, complaint is that the Minister did say that he did not have the optimum figure that he could give the House. He admitted he didn't have that figure and re referred to tourists, he referred to students, none of which was part of the primary question. And so, frankly, he's guilty by the statement he made. Order. I'll hear from the Honourable Jerry Brown. Well, Minister, uh, Mr Speaker, the Minister made it clear uh, that he did not have an ideal number, but had a, a series of scenarios that were acceptable. Now, for the member to characterise the start of a question uh, as, as there was an admission, etc., etc., is not an acceptable way to answer, ask a question in this House. Well, I've, I've heard enough. Order! I'm on my feet. Standing, strictly interpreting standing orders, all questions should start with a question. But if members also take the opportunity to review Hansard today, they will see on many occasions members take the opportunity to add uh, an introduction, which um, I've been relatively lenient in allowing. But as the member who's asking the question will have noted, when he starts a question like that, it will inevitably lead to disorder. So I invite the member, if he wants to ask a supplementary, to now write, uh, rise and ask a supplementary without the additional comments about a minister having no idea. Etc. Ron Mark, supplementary Thank you, Mr. Question. Speaker. Thank you, Jerry. Does the Minister, noting that he has not given an ideal level of immigration to the House today, realise that uncontrolled immigration is forcing Kiwis into queues for hospital beds, queues for housing, queues for jobs, and, and is driving down Kiwi wages? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. <laughs> Mr Speaker, I think it would be helpful to uh, assist the member by describing what migration definitions uh, inform the permanent and long-term migration data that he says. A migrant, a migrant includes somebody who is here for a short time, a long-term temporary basis, permanently and New Zealanders returning home. The member describes an out of control or uncontrolled permanent residence migration by foreigners. That is not true. We have a planning range of between 45 and 50,000 uh, residents per year and in the five years to 2014 we have not met that range because migration policy is demand-driven and the demand during the recession has not been there. So I reject the assertion that it's somehow uncontrolled immigration. Supplementary. Sup supplementary question, Ron Mark. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Is it not a fact that a government using open door immigration policies is likely to drive down wages and living standards? And when will he admit that we, New Zealand, are on track to replicate exactly what is happening in the United Kingdom right now? Honourable Michael Woodhouse. Mr Speaker, I simply reject the prefacing comments about uncontrolled migration. We have very strict immigration policies that are labour market tested for temporary visa holders and very well controlled for permanent residence uh, visa holders. I note that permanent residence presently is 20% below the 2006-07 numbers uh, that existed when that member's party was supporting labour and confidence and supply. Supplementary question, Ron Mark. To the Minister. So, if the number of people coming into New Zealand, as reported recently, in one year is such that it translates into a need for 8,000 new homes just to meet their requirements and that the Minister of Housing has just told the House today that he's managed to build six houses this year. Order. Just and bring order. We're now getting to the stage when it's a speech. Ask the supplementary question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What is the whole of government plan to cater for this level of immigration in terms of infrastructure needs, in terms of housing needs, and in terms of catering for the hospitals and the extra workload? What is this government's population plan for New Zealand? Honourable Michael Wood, in as far as he has ministerial responsibility. As I think I have already explained, the migration data on which the member bases his question includes working holiday makers, international students, people who are going to help us rebuild our second largest city, and above all, Kiwis coming home. Yes, they need houses, and this government does have a plan to fix housing supply. But I reject the inference that this is somehow some kind of peril that we need to be managing. Order. That, order. that concludes questions for oral answer. I have received a letter from the Honourable Phil Goff seeking to debate understanding order 389, the decision by the Prime Minister to consider the deployment of troops against ISIS forces.